Hey guys, and welcome to a little accolade guide here, sort of. Uh, you got <clears throat> you got all sorts of guides for, uh, or accolades for Win of Road Race Rare Classic, blah, 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 blah. And I do believe, was it this one? Nope, wasn't this one where they made a mistake. Uh, but you see extreme track toy, etc., etc. And I have one for rare classics because I was testing a shitload last night. And there is also somewhere, I can't even remember where it is. I think it's over here under the Hall of Shame. Mm -hmm. There it is. Win a road race with the driver chart difficulty set to unbeatable. And there's also a win 10 road races with the driver tar set to unbeatable. Now, we've all tried against unbeatable, and they are truly unbeatable. But I have a little trick that makes it pretty darn easy to win. Um, first of all, let's go and check my settings. Unbeatable. Anti-lock on, standard, traction if the build control off, automatic, driving line full, cosmetic, and we wind on. Blah, blah, blah. Right. So what you do for the road racing is you go to Creative Hub, Event Lab, Event Blueprints, and you type in this share code. 162233076. And this pops up. Easy RR. Guess what the RR stands for? Yeah, road racing. And select it, solo. And select your car. And. Talk to regiment. Now you'll notice there's a, an immediate lack of AI in here. And that's because you can turn them off. I know, right? It makes it a hell of a lot easier uh, when testing cars and shit like that. Uh, and it makes it a lot easier to get the uh, unbeatable accolades. That you don't have to fight the AI that are, well, in some cases, truly unbeatable. At least for me. Um, I don't claim to be the best driver in the world at all. Uh, I mean, the fact is, I am driving in my old office keyboard still, as I plan to be. Well, I plan to keep on doing that. <clears throat> Which is why, also, I'm running with an automatic gearbox, etc., etc. But I am having serious, serious, serious trouble oops, beating the AI on Unbeatable. In fact, anything, yeah, anything above Expert or Pro, uh, on some tracks, I have to go down to Highly Skilled especially in cross country which is still broken as per freaking usual I mean why would they fix something like that it's only been a an issue f that they claimed to have been working on uh, in Force of 4 for oh well going on two and a half years um, and they still haven't cracked it, apparently. Or they're lying, and they're not working on it. Um, yeah, they're lying. They're not working on it. I mean, they're busy doing all sorts of things. Um, among others, uh, changing the DeLorean so that it's no longer listed as a Citroen. 
I know. And it, yeah, I checked. It really is listed as a Citroen in your car collection, which is ridiculous. Um, anyway, I'm afraid I can't show you that. Well, it counts towards the unbeatable because, as you could see, I have already done my move the mouse pointer away, done my ten races. However, it should hopefully, if I go into road racing here. Be missing up here. There it is. Yep. So that's one accolade. Now, moving on, because, well, I do have some where I'm missing a lot, as you can see. And, well, this one, uh, it pays to think a little bit. And you want to go past these when in an S2, blah, blah, or S1, or D class, or whatever and go all the way over, because then you get specific cars. Now, if you're smart, which I sometimes claim to be, uh, you can see we've got one here for retro hot hats. Oh, sorry, sorry, getting ahead of myself again. Hmm. Yeah, I always show the tune at the end of the video. So doing this where I have to show one mid video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway. The tune for the jack, if you care to use that one, uh, was... This one. There you go. 279053962. And the paint job I'm currently using is... Uh, well, that's in honor of the snapper because he is such a fan of the Union Jack. Uh, it reminds him of the late Prince Philip, which he has many, many wet dreams about. It's, yeah. He will, of course, deny this, but it's true. Yeah. I've seen the posters. Oh, God. Yeah. What can I do? Anyway. Next up, we have dirt racing. And as you could tell, before I, my little detour here, um, there we are. We got a retro hot hatch. And we got a B class there. And a Renault there. And a B class there. Right. So. It would stand to reason that getting into a Renault would be a good idea. So, I made a tune for one. All right, there we are. Here it is. It's the 1993 Renault Clio Williams. And in order to do easy, unbeatable uh, dirt racing, again, go to the Creative Hub, the Event Lab, and hit search and enter this share code then. Two, two, three, one, three, 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 two, eight. And don't worry, don't worry. The share codes for the tracks and the paint jobs are in the description as per usual. Easy DR unbeatable. Yeah, what does the DR stand for? Uh, if you don't, if you haven't guessed the sort of uh, let's call it thread through the naming of these by now. Never mind. You never will. Anyway, this Renault is both, of course, a Renault, a hot hatch, and it's tuned to B-class. So we get as many accolades as possible per race. Nice, huh? So, as before, just start the race event. And all you have to do is one lap.
and yeah, I know it's not the fastest car in the world. Uh, I focus more on grip, as I always do, first of all. And second of all, well, it's not like you're being threatened by the AI, is it? Check your accolades here. Uh, there we go. Renault. B class and B class and retro hot hatch. All popped in one single lap. Much easier. And, well, and just so on and so forth, basically. I mean, you got a uh, super hot hatch. And you got the uh, boogie, a buggy, buggy, oh, whatever. Uh, and that's easy to get into D class, for instance, or C class, and you can do, you know, so on and so forth. Pretty simple. Uh, exploit the system. Mm -hmm. And the tune for this fantastic little car, like I said, the 1993 Renault Clio Williams, is. Uh, There it is. Two o two six seven two seven seven four, and this concludes the dirt racing part. Now we get to street team. Yay! Uh, or street racing, as it's called. And I would like to show you a few things here because there's surprise a bug in the game. Mm hmm. I know. This one, for instance. Win a street race in the 1977 Aston Martin V8 Vantage. Well, yeah, that's pretty easy. There's only one problem. The 1977 Aston Martin V8 Vantage is not in the game. At all. Uh, which makes it kind of hard. Uh, so you're probably not going to be... Uh, uh, completing that one. Actually, now that I look at it, the accolade is called Shaken Not Stirred, which clearly is a James Bond reference. And did he ever drive the Aston Martin V8 Vantage? Yeah, he did, didn't he? In one movie. I was just wondering if the DB5 would do it. Oh, never mind. Anyway, in this case, I have a one here for the Honda S2000. And, of course, I've done a bunch of them. So, uh, let's focus on that one. And there's also a stupid one, like, yeah, the War Talk. Win the street uh, scene event in that. Uh, but there are ridiculous ones. Um, but let's start with that S2000 thousand thingy. So, first we gotta find the car. Uh, Honda, 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 Honda. Mm -hmm. There it is. The 2009 Honda S2000 S, uh, CR. Well, let's get into that one. And, once again, Creative Hub. And Blueprint Events. And... This time, enter 602-615-926. And there we are. Easy SR. Mm -hmm. Street racing. That's right. And select. And 
Looks like the Honda in this case. And start the race. And again, there is a surprising lack of AIs in here. Oh, now the accolades are actually popping up about freaking dime. Sometimes the game remembers to put NPC cars into the street scene events, and sometimes it doesn't. And I have no idea uh, if this is a bug, probably is. Or if it's one of those, oh, it's working as intended, which is codename for we can't be fucked to do anything about it, so fuck off. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's a bug. Uh, because this is something that would be an advantage to the players. Uh, and therefore, well, that's not something we can have uh, in the game. No, no, no. players might actually enjoy the lack of traffic. Oh, wait a minute. No, I know why. Uh, in this case, at least. Uh, because you can turn the traffic off as well. Which I seem to recall that I did. Yeah. Sorry. Do with me. But it is actually a bug in street scene events that sometimes there's a bunch of AI in here, as in NPC cars, and sometimes there are none. And, yeah. I mean, it can't be a bug, because, you know, this game has no bugs. <clears throat> uh, or something. By no means the fastest A-class car, but it's nice to drive. Nice, grippy, and pretty nimble. I like that. And there we are. Los Diletantos. Uh, no, I have no idea if that's an actual word. It's a nice little shoe paper paint job. I'm a winner. Whee! Oh, wow. So each planet has a fucking horn? Oh, God. All right. The best thing about winning clothes and horns and shit is you can only win them once. And I don't care about horns anymore because, and listen to this. Yes, I have my horn. So everything else can pretty much fuck off. Um, anyway, the car I was using was, of course, the... Oh, wait, I should show you that it's actually popped the accolade. Right, street mission in... Now where was it? No. Um. Oh, it's 2003. And I'm in the 2009. Oh, I missed that part. That's brilliant. <sighs> oh, well. <laughs> See? I can make mistakes. 
it has happened again. That's like my second mistake this decade. Jesus. Ah. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that it's not in the auction house or in the auto show. So let's see if it's in here. Right. Let's not write a year. No. That's not necessary. Right. I am actually scrolling between two different S2000. Nice. Let's not put a year on. No, 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 no. Well, it should have been this one then. <laughs> oh, better buy it. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, I'm such an idiot sometimes. Yes, yes, claim the fucking car. Woohoo. Um, and well, let's do a quick. Oh, let's do a quick tune on it. So you can actually drive the fucking Honda in that stupid little. Uh, street event. Jeez. I don't know why I didn't spot that. Oh. Yeah, I'm old. Live tuning. Hooray. Let's start with that. Let's see what Indian options we have. I'm just going to stick to that one and that one. No, wait a minute. Let's try without first. And we want that one. Oh, let's do that one. Of course, I selected the only one. Uh, there is no front or side skirts too. <sighs> Whatever. I don't really care. And let's give it some grip. More. 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 And well, I suppose we're going to put in the gearbox. And this. And that. Come on, then. And cut some shooting. And gearing. Actually, doesn't look all that bad. Two seven seven and look at that. Way too much engine roll bar. Way too tough springs. Oh, just uh, let's give it a nice number, or nice even number. There we go. Lower that, that, something like that. Hmm. Well, screw the paint job. Oh yeah, 
which one of those I have to do a picture of as well. Oh, never mind. So, do we start at drive to the street scene again? Yeah, oh, fuck it. Let's prove that it actually works. Uh, so, yeah. Street scene, once again. 602-615-926. Yeah, sorry about this. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I'm, um, yeah, a little bit beside myself. So let's try again and see if this car will be the AI that's not there. I do like the sound of the gear changes. When you put on a racing gear for it. And the howl, or the whine of the gearbox. Straight cut gears, no synchro. Mm. Everything to make a petrol head smile. see which one made it best or set the best time I can't even remember what the first one was I didn't really notice take notice of it and it didn't matter because it was the wrong car Also, in case you wanted proof that my videos aren't cut to make me look fantastic, uh, there you are. <laughs> In case this is the first time you're uh, watching a video on my channel, I don't cut my videos. Uh, I try to get uh, whatever I want into one take, flaws and everything, and take it from there. I think it's pretty much the same, same time as the other one. Oh well. Come on. Yes, that's nice. Uh, so, a tune for this, the 2003 Honda S2000, yada yada yada. Uh, let's share that, shall we? Dig up a share code. There it is. One eight zero eight eight three six four five. So far, so good. Now we move on to. Um. Yeah. 
cross country. Yeah, hate cross country. Uh, but in here, there are a bunch of accolades. Van, utility, buggy. Oh, this time it's called a buggy with a Y and not an IE. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Hot hatch, modern muscle, modern rally, rally monster, retro rally. The one we want. And then there is another one, S2, this one. Uh, C class. Yeah. It's the C class one we're interested in. So, C class and retro rally. Right. Well, wouldn't you know it, I have a car that fits that, hopefully. Unless it's the wrong one. And there it is. The 1980 Renault 5 Turbo. An old, old favorite of mine that I've used in Forza 4 about a thousand times or so. And there we go. It actually popped. Hooray. Anyway, in cross country, same shit. Event blueprints and enter share code 173.7059. And there we are, CC unbeatable. And select the car. Now this is a little bit interesting uh, because it is on stock tires. I simply had to, to be able to get it to fit into C-Class and still get yeah, some type of performance out of this car. So, yeah, this can be a little tricky to handle, but should be fine. And as usual in Forza and Cross Country, you have to break down 80,000 fences and houses and whatnot. <sighs> because, you know, uh, it makes it more realistic. Uh, because, of course, the organizers had plenty of time to put up the barriers, the checkpoints and the whatnots. Uh, but they couldn't be bothered to, you know, remove the fences and shit. No. Also, those green flags that are not checkpoints, yeah, I wouldn't mind if they got thrown out of the game. Fuck them. They make you miss checkpoints. And there we go. Nice and short. And... And I've been disconnected. And I'm inside of... I'm in the pyramid now. Retry. Do I get disconnected again? Here we go. Yes. Uh, win across country in C-Class. Retro Rally. And that was it. And no more disconnection. And... Oh. There I am. Anyway. The car I used was the 1980 Renault 5 Turbo. And the tune, let's see, C class, there we go, there it is, 366-372-507. So there you have it, four tracks that should get you through most of the, uh, uh, yeah, most of the extra accolades, if you will, um, and a couple of tunes to... To get you going i'm sorry i don't have tunes for every single car and every single one of the silly little accolades uh maybe one day i will i have no idea but right now i don't and i couldn't be bothered to make what 150 tunes so this will just give you an idea of uh well it basically it'll give you the tracks and yeah you get to take it from there 
That's it, really. Uh, remember, if you use one of my tunes or one of my blueprints, uh, please remember to like them. And the same goes for the paint jobs, by the way, which are, well, one of them is mine. The rest isn't. Uh, and thank you to those who made them. Uh, and, yeah, please remember to like those as well. And don't forget to like the video also. And don't forget to subscribe. We're getting very close to 2,000 subscribers. That's actually, wow, yeah. Mm, I didn't expect that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye.